All right, so you guys are probably wondering what I'm wearing. I've got on the new Arborflex chainsaw pant range. So these are the base layers, hence why they're red. So these are type A, so they only have front protection. Type B, obviously you'll have more of a calf protection, and then type C, you're gonna have your protection up to here. So the nice thing about these is they are actually pretty breathable, and I know a lot of people have been confused about how this system works, but it's actually quite simple. If you actually turn your chainsaw trousers inside out, which I'll use my brief flex here, is you essentially have your different layers here. They're just all sewn into one. So you can see here we have the protection and then a, a layer to keep you from getting rubbed by the nylon. So basically all we've done here is give you options. How the system works is whatever over layer that you pick or skin is you slide them over top. Obviously you'll have to take your boots off. I think that's probably the only annoying bit really, but you just pull them on and then you'll button them onto these, which will hold the outer layer onto the inner layer and you don't even notice it. So I'll demonstrate that right now. Right, so taking my boots off, I've undone them. Thankfully I'm on a clean floor. Michael swept it the other day. Put those there. Right, so I've decided to try on the uh, waterproof outer layer. I really like the high-vis orange. They feel really durable, high quality. They also have the mesh layer underneath, so that'll keep you nice and comfortable at work. So what I'm gonna do is slide one leg in, clean off the sock, slide the other leg in, pull them up, boom. So I can leave them like that if I want. I probably won't really notice it too much, but I feel like if you're gonna be climbing with these on, you're gonna wanna put them in. So you can see here, I'm just gonna take the button here, hook that one in. We're gonna go all the way around. Okay, let's put the two front ones. These two front ones. Right, and here's the other part, is at the back. So you'll see here, I'll pull my hoodie up, is there's this flappy bit. So this flappy bit, is the color discerning what type of protection I have. So it's red, so it's type A. So I'm just gonna take that and find the buttons. Hopefully, you might need some help with that. We'll um, button those ones in. Right, so I got the buttons on. I did have to slide them down a bit, but it's not too bad. Just a bit of fiddling around if you want to get this secure. You could ask your friend if you need to, or your colleague whoever you're working with. As you can see, I'm a bit of a struggle here, but I mean, that's just gonna stay there anyways. So, I've got one. And maybe fast forward this, cause this is a bit painful to watch, I'm sure. Boom, nice and secure. Now these look a little bit big on me, and they are, the outer layer, but I feel like if I went a size down, they'd be too tight in the leg. So I'm kind of in that in-between size. But here we have it. Um, yeah, so obviously they're not as stretchy as what the Briflex Pros are, but I feel pretty confident at work that I'm gonna stay dry. Now, I haven't really worn these too much outside yet, so I'm hopefully gonna put these into play uh, tomorrow, because I think it's supposed to rain, as is Lancashire weather. Um, so that will be a good test of them, but um, it's easy enough to do. You can re-waterproof them in the wash. Um, so we got a nice side pocket with a zip, plus the flap. Easy enough, probably keep my phone in there. And that's gonna keep that dry and secure. And then you got, uh, there's no pocket on this side, but we have your other pockets at the top, as you do in most standard chainsaw pants. Right, I can put a belt on there, but I don't really feel a belt is necessary for these. Um, yeah, so they're, they're pretty comfy. I'm gonna try the other layer on now. I have the blue ones. Right, so now I have the Arborflex blue skins on, and I really, really like these. These seem to be styled after a rock climbing pant, so you have the really nice hard wearing knees and on the shin. Uh, got some really nice stitching here, the Arborflex, the writing. You got the big phone pocket on the side again and then the uh, normal, the zip ones at the top. These ones actually look similar to like a jean pocket, but they're, they're equally as nice, they're just a bit quieter. And uh, you got some pockets on the back with a nice stitching of the leaf. I really, really like these pants. Um, I could wear them all over top of the chainsaw trousers, or I feel like I could wear these just to go rock climbing in. 
Um, they're really comfy. Right, so there's another section I actually forgot to mention, is on the cuff. So, on your underskins, you have this Velcro bit. This bit comes off, and you either put it in your pocket, put it in the truck, whatever. On the inside of each overlayer, or the main skins, under the side of the cuff, there's another strip of Velcro. So that, obviously, goes on to the recipient side, like that. And that'll keep them down like there. But I feel like these aren't going to ride up at all, because they're long enough, but the cuff is elasticated, not too elasticated. So I feel like it's not going to, like, bunch up on you. So... There's that. Right, so I have my Briflex Naturals on in the beige color now. So just because I wanted to show you what these are like. So this here, it feels like bathing suit material, really. It's really soft, um, it's gonna wear nicely, and even if you get super sweaty, obviously that's gonna wick to the outside. Uh, the waistband is good and stretchy. It's just like a thick, you know, track pant style kind of thing. There's no drawstring, but there is the uh, Velcro on the side, so you can cinch it in if you need that. Um, if you're a male, obviously, there's no issue going to the bathroom. Um, so obviously, you just have the stretchy lycra on your bum, and then you have mesh on the back panels. Obviously, this is type A, so if it was type C, that chainsaw protection would be wrapped around all the way up to about where my hand is. So you can see here how that's red indicates type A. Um, then it, it just feels pretty good. Uh, it's really nice and soft on the inside. It's got like a bit of a different kind of mesh. It's got the open hold mesh on the back like I showed you before and uh, yeah, I think they're pretty good.